standing by now. Uh, the window now open. Be waiting for a call down from the crew. Houston Station on 2 at 11.40, we will initiate the uh, RHC release command. We're ready. This is the team here in Mission Control reporting uh, release is in progress. Should be seeing that separation very shortly. So, Dan, the snares are now open. First, they had to release latches. There's actually sort of extra latches that give power and data uh, between the Cygnus and the space station. Those were released first, and then the snares. So it's officially free, and the crew will back the arm away. So with those snares released uh, and it free, that uh, official time coming in at 5.41 a.m. Central Time. Uh, while the International Space Station's 260 uh, statute miles over the southern Atlantic Ocean, uh, just uh, off the southeastern coast uh, of Argentina and Uruguay. So we'll now wait uh, a few moments, and then we'll begin to see the station's robotic arm back away from Cygnus. There you go. You can see it backing away uh, from that target. It's a good view. You can actually see the, the Cygnus is uh, still, but the arm is actually moving back. It looks like the Cygnus is moving, but it's the arm retreating from the Cygnus, away from that foot-long pin. They're about two feet away now. They're zooming out so I can see the bigger picture now that they're not attached to the Cygnus. So from this angle, uh, we can see a little bit better uh, the arm backing away from Cygnus. Cygnus just kind of in free drift there uh, as it has been released. Again, that happening just two minutes ago at 5.41 a.m. Central Time. And uh, keep an eye on this picture because the Cygnus, now that it's free of the arm, will actually move out quite quickly away from the space station. But this picture really does give you that, that feeling of both vehicles flying in space at 17,500 miles an hour. Again, it's the arm backing away from the Cygnus. The Cygnus is still. And then it will fire its jets and it will move away. And Cygnus right now loaded up with uh, disposable items and trash uh, for uh, disposal once it burns up in the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, Katie, like you're saying, it'll do a couple of burns to kind of separate itself uh, from the International Space Station. Uh, that's setting up for its final deorbit burns, which will take place tomorrow morning. Uh, two burns, which will eventually send it uh, through that destructive entry, uh, burning up uh, over the Pacific Ocean tomorrow on Wednesday at about 12.20 p.m. Central Time. And the the crew actually sends the command to the Cygnus to deorbit. In this case, the command is called abort, but it is actually a planned deorbit, and the crew sends that command. And the abort burns in progress. Just like you said, Cygnus now moving uh, at a much faster rate uh, with that abort burn in progress. Uh, robotic Cygnus abort commanded. Uh, we have a go to enable ISS thrusters. Houston copies uh, the Cygnus maneuver, departure maneuvers in progress. Continue to monitor departure. That's steps two through four and one decimal six oh two. Okay, copy uh, 1.602, Cygnus departure monitor, 2 through 4. Good readback. And then this is a great shot of the Cygnus going away. So this is from the robotic arm camera, and it looks like it's pointing straight at the Earth, but of course it's going to be in orbit and deorbit uh, probably about halfway around the Earth. It's firing its engine sort of into the wind, so to speak, to slow down just a little. And that little bit is enough to have the Cygnus deorbit and burn up in the atmosphere. <laughs> 